we have identified Mr. Robert Davis, a 19-year-old black male, as the offender. A review of the investigative facts was conducted by the district attorney's office and an arrest warrant was approved and issued today for Mr. Davis. The arrest warrant includes the charges of murder and related offenses. Mr. Davis is considered armed and dangerous. We are asking the public if anyone sees Mr. Davis or if anyone knows the whereabouts of Mr. Davis to please contact 911. We are also asking Mr. Davis to surrender himself to the police. Our goal is to have Mr. Davis taken into custody in a safe manner for the public, our officers, and himself. I would like to thank the public and the family and friends of Mr. Joshua Kruger for providing information and assisting the police department in this investigation. Without the help of you all, we would not have been able to identify Mr. Davis so quickly. I would also like to thank the men and women of the homicide unit who have worked tirelessly on this homicide, as they do in all homicide cases that occur in this city. Again, if anyone knows the whereabouts of this male, Mr. Davis, please contact the Philadelphia Police Department by dialing 911, or if you have information that would lead to provide tips for the uh, investigation, please call 215-686-TIPS. That's 215-686-8477. As in every homicide investigation, there's a $20,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of Mr. Davis. Due to the fact investigative actions are still being conducted, I am limited on the information that I can provide, but I will take a few questions. Uh, before we take questions, we're just joined by some colleagues from the district attorney's office. First, I'm just going to turn it over to uh, first assistant district attorney, Bob Lissett. Sir. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Bob Listenby. I'm one of DA Krasner's first assistants. I'd like to thank the Philadelphia Police Department for their aggressive investigation of this homicide. I'd like to thank them for the cooperation and collaboration that we've had with uh, PPD. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge two other members of our staff who are here. Ms. Kelly Bur Burkhart, who is the LGBTQ plus liaison and also a victim witness coordinator who is here with me. I also like to acknowledge Mr. Robert Foster, who is assistant supervisor of the district attorney's homicide unit and non-fatal shootings unit. I now have a statement from DA Krasner that I'd like to share with you. According to DA Krasner, Josh Kruger lifted up the most vulnerable and stigmatized people in our communities, particularly unhoused people living with addiction. As an openly queer writer who wrote about his own journey, surviving substance use disorder and homelessness, it was encouraging to see Josh join the Kenny, Kenny administration as a spokesperson for the Office of Homeless Services. Josh deserved to write the ending of his personal story. As with all homicides, We'll be in close contact with the Philadelphia Police Department as they work to identify the person or persons responsible so that they can be held to account in a court of law. I extend my deepest condolences to Josh's loved ones and to all those who are mourning his loss. Thank you again for PPD for inviting us over to share uh, our thoughts, our condolences, and our continued co and aggressive cooperation. Thank you. Okay, we'll now take questions, sir. Lieutenant, what was the relationship between Josh and Mr. Davis? Uh, at this time, we believe that Mr. Uh, Kruger was trying to help Mr. Davis, and they were acquaintances. He was just trying to help him um, just get through life. Correct, Robert Davis. Correct. Um, as to the why, I do not know at this time. Uh, only Mr. Davis will be able to uh, answer that. Uh, hopefully he does provide us with that information when he is uh, captured or he surrenders himself. When you said he was trying to help him through life, was he struggling with homelessness and addiction? How was he trying to help 
that very well may have been the case. It appears that he may have uh, appeared to have been homeless at one time in his life. And um, so more information we will find out. Hopefully Mr. Davis can provide that to us. Um, I have not had an opportunity to review that case and that case file. Uh, once I do, we will address that at, at, a, at a future press conference. But right now, I don't know the details regarding that specific case. Is he somebody that's known to your office, though, other than that charge? Uh, I'm not aware. Again, I'm, this is the first time I'm hearing about uh, that Mr. Davis is the person that's been identified. We will do our best to be able to provide additional information at a future press conference. Senator, can you or anyone talk about the drugs found in the home and what evidence was found on Kruger's phone? Uh, I'm not in a position to, to, to discuss that at this point in time, especially information about the phone. I will defer to the Philadelphia Police Department to provide information on that issue at the present time. Thank you. At any point, did you make contact with Mr. Davis since Monday in the course of your interviews and investigations? No, we have not made contact with Mr. Davis since the uh, incident. No, ma'am. Mr. Davis is known to the department. He has had contacts with the uh, police department prior. Yes. Not at this time, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did he have neighborhood? I'm unable to provide that information right now. Yes, sir. Sir, this, as I stated before, it is still ongoing, so there's an uh, investigative step still taking place, so I'm unable to answer that question right now. Has Mr. Davis been staying with Mr. Kruger, um, or did he break into the house? How did, how did he gain entry to the house? From the information that we have right now, uh, we do not believe that he had been staying there at that time. However, we will, uh, we will ask that question and we will find out more information. But at this point, that's the information we have right now. Do you know whether the door was unlocked or if he had the keys here? I'm unable to answer that. As I said, it's still an ongoing investigation. Can you provide a photo of him? I believe a photo will be provided or was provided earlier. If not, we'll definitely make sure you all receive one. What was the information that led you to this? Several tips, several help, help from the public help from the family and friends. Uh, we were able to uh, recover video. So uh, with the help of the public and, and the help, as I stated, from family and friends, this investigation was able to come together so quickly. And just to get it right, sorry, so you have video of him breaking in or actually committing the shooting? Or? We have video of uh, the incident prior to the uh, murder. Who else was there prior to the murder? Of uh, the individual being on location. So Mr. Davis being inside the home or outside? Or? In the area. Do you have video of him getting into the house? In the area. At this point, that's all I'm going to say in reference to that. Do you know if there was any sort of argument or did he just walk in the door and just do something else? At this point, we, uh, that's still ongoing investigation. So we'll be able to provide more information later. Well, all right, that's it. Thank you. This is uh, something that is done by our charging unit. They've reviewed all the evidence that's available. The reason we're not releasing it at this time is that this is still within PPD, and until there's arrest, we really want, don't want to divulge any additional information. It's, a, it's an ongoing investigation. We're usually not involved this early, but this is such an uh, important matter to the public, and we need the assistance of the public in order to bring Mr. Davis to justice. So we're doing it at the present time because we think that you and the media can be of great assistance to us, and so can other citizens within the city and county of Philadelphia. So that's why we're doing it now. After we found out more information and after the arrest, we'll probably to provide as much information collaboratively with PPD as we possibly can. Thank you.